All right, so back to this. Uh, just finished episode 12 of this show. Um, don't know if it'll be the last one for the season. I'm just assuming so, because 12 is a normal amount, right? Um, again, the big thing there, and as you can probably tell by the title, is, again, I'm actually fairly... It, I'm I'm fairly disappointed. Um, it's been I haven't really felt this way over a show. It's interesting, and as you can kind of tell by the title, right? I I feel like I made a very similar video. I think it was after like episode. I think like eight, maybe nine. I made a very similar video, and again, you know, I compared the show. I'm pretty sure it was called just the show titled Dangers in My Heart, Engineering Slice of Life, right? And I talked about how kind of, and as you can tell by this title, how the show had, or I think it was whatever episode, right? I, I think it may have been episode five, I think. Because then I made a different video after episode eight, and then I made one now. So I, I think that's what it came down to. It may have been after the episode five or six. But I made that, right? And again, I, I kind of, compared it to I, I basically talked about how it devolved from a interesting concept right uh, a fairly interesting i'd say unique like concept right uh, one that had potential to just a generic slice of life show uh, granted would it have been as popular if it wasn't a generic slice of life who knows right uh, funny enough i did see the uh, manga for this in a store actually earlier today um, didn't get it, but I, I do know it does exist out there now, so, because some shows, it's like, okay, does a manga exist, or is it just the show, but I saw one for Kakiguri, too, that's crazy, that show is absolutely crazy, I'm not even gonna lie, but it was fun and hilarious to watch, but besides the point, for this show, though, because I, I also remember after, I think it was episode eight or nine, I, it was the episode to where he realizes how he feels, I genuinely enjoyed that episode, and, like, that kind of turned my opinion around of this series and the show from what I had thought earlier, um, to where it was like, okay, yeah, this show just lost all its potential. I was like, okay, it's actually going somewhere. Like, this was actually a good episode. I don't remember if it was 9 or 10. It's it's in the playlist somewhere, right? The anime playlist. You'll, you'll just need to look for it. But, again, after that one, I actually like, enjoyed the show and where it was going. The problem being, in especially after finishing episode 12, it didn't really go anywhere after that. And again, that's kind of my problem and what brings it back to the original sort of point of, in the title of this video, uh, Devolution from an Interesting Concept to Generic Slice of Life, is that I'm going to be very honest and upfront here. Um, after that episode to where, again, he kind of came to realize his feelings, nothing changed. Like, his character did not change at all. It was it was actually kind of crazy, like, to look. His character legit just did not change. And here, here's the problem with that, right? Is that, I mean, again, it's kind of the same problem as, like, let's say Nagator, right? You know, talking about that show. Is that it's like, they, they reach a point and they actually make some development for their protagonist, right? You know, in this case, uh, Ishikawa, and then in that case, Paizen, right? But then nothing changes. Like, and again, that's the problem with this. Granted, I will say we, in, because again, normally, like, the season climax, it's supposed to be like that, a climax, right? Nothing really happened in this episode. I hate to say, um, okay, obviously there was the one, like, bed scene, but you know, that's whatever, besides the point. But the, the point being the, the one thing and what we saw was that, okay, so like, we got some flashbacks to, again, you know, him in, like, middle school or whatever, grade school, right? Him not having these friends and then not getting accepted into the, like, prestigious private school. And he had to go to just some random-ass public school, right? You know, can't, I can't imagine that, uh, you know, almost, like, every single fucking American student, right? You know, going to public school. But besides the point, um, with that, it's something to where it's, like, and the big thing there is... um. Yeah, and then he loses his friend, or he just kind of stops talking with his friends, and that's what kind of gets him into the whole, you know, a uh, murder, like, serial killer thing is, like, his niche, right? Which just, it's a self-fulfilling thing to where that just, you know, uh, 
what would you call it? That just isolates him even more, right? As normal people aren't into that, uh, putting it that way. Um, but again, right, it's, it's something to where we, we finally get some backstory. Even though it was literally like a minute, it's the only minute of backstory we got for him in this entire show. We don't even really know about his relation with his parents. Um, again, right, it, it's honestly like, yeah, like we know so little about this dude. It's actually like insane. This was like the one bit we got. And we also had, again, what I thought was going to be interesting in nearly a close call with um, Anna, right? Yamada finding his uh, book on, like, freaking murders and, like, serial kills because she's in his room, right? And, again, she even finds the other books that he had later on when they were at the school. But, again, it, it's something to where, like, she just thinks it's, like, cool, you know? Like, oh, that you, like, so you know, like, psychology or whatever. Which, to be fair, is a valid point, right? Like, uh, granted, if I saw a book like that, you know, I think, like, okay, this person's kind of weird but it wouldn't be a red flag uh, okay if you see multiple that's kind of a red flag but like it, it's something where it's like again like her perspective like oh he's into psychology right you know that's kind of cool which to be fair that is kind of a cool aspect of it and looking into like minds of like okay us as normal people like how do we differ from like serial killers right and like you know murders stuff like that but that's besides the point. But again, so we got that and then nothing came of it. And again, it, it just brings it back to the original point of, again, just like the title of this video, devolution from interesting concept to generic slice of life. Because I wanted to see one of two things, right? Which I had both mentioned. One, his character changed from that one episode to where he realized he actually you know, likes her. It was like, what, eight or nine? I don't even fucking remember. It was the one I made the second video af after. Because I'm pretty sure I made the first one, and that was the generic slice of life one. And then I made another after whatever episode to where he actually, like, kind of admitted that. And I was like, okay, you know, this show's fine again somewhere. But again, his character doesn't change, which is the problem. That's one thing I want to see that just did not happen. The second is, again, maybe after her discovering that, there's kind of, like, she, like, learns the truth and or realizes about him. Like, I mean, we got the bit of backstory, which kind of explains it, but, like, that there would be some sort of reconciling there i guess or some like you know realization or him like i guess confronting you know kind of what well, i don't want to say his past self because that just makes it sound like a more you know but again him kind of like so just that being an aspect and or factor to the show again bringing it back to the original point of it was just like it may as well just not exist like, him having a thing for murders or, like, serial killers and being, like, a low-key psychopath just might as well not exist and not being a part of the show with, like, simply due to the fact that's just not a thing, right? It has zero impact on the show whatsoever, so it's like, why does it exist? Again, I just, I don't know. And again, it, it's such a shame, too, because it's like, it, and it sucks because, you know, let's, again, if it were or did focus on that concept, it probably wouldn't have gone as popular as it did. But, again, it, it's just, it's, like, because it's not even good slice of life, right? Like, let's put it that way. So, like, I, my, what was the, out of the shows I've watched, what's my favorite slice of life? Probably Takagi-san, that, that's gonna be top, you know. I'm really enjoying the Clueless First Friend one. That one's actually, like, this one's, like, really good, you know. Um, I'm gonna make, once I watch the 12th episode for that, I'll make a black screen after. But that, that one's really good, too um tomo chan that one was pretty good um again yeah that, that one was pretty good uh I, I don't think it's as good as people say it is but i still think it is good right it was pretty good um i i like to nagatoro season one see i i had more of a problem with season two um i have no idea if there's gonna be season three who the fuck knows um god komi sans felt like forever but that that i wouldn't really qualify as that but it's also like yeah i mean that's Funny enough, it's also funny to think about because Yamada looks a lot like a uh, freaking Komi if you think about But again, you know, that is just... Yeah, I wouldn't really... Uh, I thought it was... I didn't think it's as good, you know, as, as people give it credit for. But I also think the problem is, you know, a lot of people compare it to Bochi when it, it's something to where Bochi itself isn't as good as... Again, I, I feel like a lot of people, like overvalue and undervalue certain shows it's it's weird but again I, I feel like that's that's besides the point um i really like shikamori i think that one's undervalued um again uh what yeah I, I think that one's definitely heavily undervalued uh but you know this is all besides the point my point is that 
this is like it's not even good it's like generic right like it's it's literally just devolved into generic slice of life and don't get me wrong i read some of the comments so i know that later on in the show like it's revealed that you know we we think right now that you know ichikawa was kind of you know he was kind of fawning over yamada right or whatever you know all these things it's like i'm pretty sure later on at some point right you know it's like i'm not you know i get some spoilers right or not you know specific actions or events but you know because i read like i don't even try to read comments like i just see them and my brain automatically processes it i do know it's revealed that she kind of has a crazy thing for him going on but again that, here here's the problem right is that then it's like okay she's a she well i don't want to say she's not even the main character but again it's just it is something to where it's like okay like you have all of this right but it's like that doesn't fix you know like okay f- there's finally there's some more interesting stuff but it doesn't really fix the fundamental problem with the show is that again it's just generic slice of life like it, let's put it this way because obviously in an ideal world they would have actually taken the interesting concept of him being a legit psychopath you know and like honestly kind of like you know, like, giving off serial killer vibes and, like, rolled with it and would have done something with that. But if, since they did decide to go slice of life route, I want to see one of two things. One, him actually, like, having actual change to his character, and especially after that one episode where he admitted his feelings, it just did not happen. And then two, I want to see there, again, at the very least, that whole part of him being kind of a psychopath at least play an interesting part and role in the show right or you know at least have some sort of impact and or like effect on the show and potentially have to reconcile or deal with that especially like again we saw like we got the backstory in him and then we saw yamada like find the books but like nothing ever came in it's like okay freaking well why is this the thing right it's just wasting time again so i i think i don't really want to speak more of this show because it's like i'm not gonna lie i watched because here's the thing Like, when I watch these shows, right? Let's put it this way. When I watched Takagi-san, season whatever, you know, two, the season two finale, like, I was, like, ecstatic watching that. Like, that was, again, you know, and that is what I consider, like, good slice of life. Watching this show, I watched the finale, I just didn't feel anything. Like, I hate to say it, I just felt nothing like episode 12 it's just like i feel nothing like there's just nothing there there's no investment and it's like again there's no build up like there was no climax like it didn't reach anything like again it's just i don't know for me it's just something to where it's like because i i don't blame the people who made it because i just feel like you know what's it's it's what's in the market for but the problem is it it doesn't make the show good. Again, like, I'm not going to relate it to freaking, like, indie and then Pokemon, right? Shit like that, right? To where I feel like most of the community and or fan base is, like, just play either wrong or completely misguided misdirected. But that's besides the point. For me, it's just, like, I, I just, I, I feel, I felt like, I very rarely feel like this. Because I even mentioned, you know, a big part of the reason why I watch one and two season shows is because, like, okay, it's not that big of an investment. I, I genuinely feel like I wasted my time watching this show. I, I hate to say it, and that's a very big, you know, like, thing to say, but it's like, I, I that's how I feel. Like, just, that that's how I feel. And it, it's something to where it's like, I'm gonna watch a season two if it comes out, but it's like, you know, well, if, right? But then it's also like, I mean, my problem with that is just, you know... Like, I don't see, unless they make some serious changes to the show, like, A, actually develop his character, don't fall into, you know, a Nagato season two trap, or they freaking what would you call it, or, what's the term, um, again, they, him being, like, a psychopath and being in the whole serial killer thing actually plays a part or role in the show, unless they make those two, because they, they, they can't quit now. You know, they committed to making it a slice of life. Like, the whole potential for it to be, like, an interesting show based off his tendencies is gone. Far past that. They committed a slice of life. But with that, again, I want to see either one of those two things, and if they don't happen, again, complete waste of time. 
But yeah, it's been about 15, so I think I'm going to end it here. I, that's just, I hate to say it. I'm even going to go back and look at that playlist because I, I genuinely did enjoy the one episode to where he kind of accepted his feelings. The problem is just nothing ever came of it. Like, it was for nothing. Like, it may as well have not existed, but again, you know, with that, here's what I'll say. I don't really have anything else to say based off that, um, so I'm just going to end it here. But with that, I don't really have anything else, so yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.